Okay, we're going to be testing a 100 foot extension cord with a multimeter. Take our multimeter and we're going to put select the ohms reading, that little upside down U or mega sign. Verify our meter is working, OLs, open circuit. Touch two leads together, 0.2 ohms is what it reads. So, our ohmmeter is working, our leads are good. Let's check out our extension cord. Okay, we take our extension cord, inspect the connections, make sure they're not damaged, there isn't anything broken or any obstructions. First we'll check out our ground side of the connector. And you can see, reads 0.8 ohms. That's a good wire. We have good connection there. Okay, then you want to take your meter lead and just touch the other probes on the plug. Make sure it's not shorted out. Make sure you don't get a continuity reading. It needs to read dead open. Okay, so now we'll go to the hot side of the plug. And we'll check it over here on the, on the other side. Make sure we have continuity. And we do 0.7 ohms. So we got a good connection, everything's good there. Take our lead and check it against the other probes or plugs and make sure we have no continuity and we got an open circuit. Okay, that one's good. We'll go to the common side of the plug. Take it there, check, reads 0.7 ohms. So we got a good connection there. We'll check it against the other plugs and it all reads open. So we've got a good extension cord, all of my connections are good, and nothing shorted together. So, let's take it and plug it in, get some electricity in there, and we can do a voltage check. We're reading AC volts, so we'll plug, uh, dial in VAC. Okay, first we'll go to the ground, and we'll check to the hot side of the connector. What we're reading there is millivolts, that's just straight voltage. It's Nothing to worry about. If it's above a millivolt, you might have concern. But here we're reading 117 volts, 117.9, which is acceptable. And we're going to check from ground to common, and we're reading 0 0.10 millivolts. Like I said, you just have stray voltage. Okay, now we're going to go from common to the hot side of the plug. Read 117, 116 volts which everything checks good there. So we got a good plug. Hope this video was helpful.